Hello and welcome, my name is Michael Kölling. I'm one of the developers of Greenfoot and BlueJ, two educational programming environments. And this video today is to give you a short in introduction of Stride, a new project that we have been working on recently together with Neil Brown and Amjad Altad Mori. And I will give you a quick overview today over what Stride is and what it can do for you. Stride is a new editor and a new language built into the Greenfoot environment. And um, it is meant as a stepping stone for programmers, for learners coming from block-based languages and transitioning to textual languages. It can also be used as direct entry um, for learners of the right age, that is somewhere young to mid-teenage age. Um, so if learners have programmed in Scratch or Alice or App Inventor before and they're looking to progress to a text-based language such as Python or Java, then Stride may be the ideal stepping stone. This is the first introductory video. Um, there will be a number of other short videos that we will be releasing over the next few weeks, which will then tell you a little bit more about the details of Stride. So let's get started and have a look at what it is. This is Greenfoot version 3. Um, and you see it looks quite similar to the Greenfoot version before. If you knew Greenfoot before, you will recognize this. This is just one um, Greenfoot example that we commonly use. But what I really want to talk about now is the editor. I just opened the crab class here, and this is now what Stride looks like. This class is written in Stride, and you can see that the class has a greenish background, and then you have methods that are distinguished by a frame with a yellowish background. So every one of those yellowish rectangles is a method. Um, the blue bar that you see moving around there is my cursor. I can either move it with my keyboard up and down or I can position it with a mouse. Um, so both as possible. I can insert new statements by typing a single key. So I just typed an I on my keyboard and I get an if statement. The statements do not have to be typed out in full. A single key press gives you a complete statement. These statements then, like the if statements, have empty slots. And here there's a slot for the condition, and I type in the condition. And there's a slot for the body. The slot takes more frames. So here again, I type a single key, a space key in this case, um, to insert a method. And I get the whole method called syntactically correct. Uh, I can insert other statements. Here, typing a W gives me a while loop. I can delete it again, typing an F gives me a for each loop and so on. In this case, with single key presses, I can insert complete statements without having to memorize the exact syntax of each statement. Here, I just inserted an assignment. A V key press gives me a variable declaration. And so I can insert code that, in fact, looks quite similar to Java code, but is much easier to enter, avoiding many syntax errors. On the right here, I have an optional cheat sheet. The cheat sheet shows me all the keyboard commands and all the statements that I can enter. This is actually a full list. These are all the commands that can be entered in Stride at that point. So I can see, if I look to my right, if I want a constant declaration in my class, that is the character C. So I go up to my fields where I would make such a declaration. I hit my C and I get a frame here to insert a constant declaration. And I can delete it again. I can also um, see on the right the um, keyboards, but I can also click on them. So I could insert a frame by clicking on that statement in the cheat sheet on the right. We can also see that the cheat sheet is context sensitive. If the cursor is between methods, I can see only those um, insertions, frame insertions, that are relevant at that point. So in this case, I have inserted a method. When I move the cursor between the brackets, I get uh, slots for a parameter. Typing a comma gives me slots for additional parameters, and so on. I can drag frames um, from one location to the other. Every statement, whether it is an if statement or a simple method call, is a frame. Frames do not have to be selected before they're dragged. I can just grab the frame and drag it to another location. If you look carefully, you will see that the purple cursor that shows you where things can be dropped 
will show you only valid location. You cannot drop a frame in a syntactically invalid location. I do not have to do that with a mouse. Uh, here's an example how I have selected a frame with a keyboard and then cut it and pasted it other, somewhere else, also moving it. I can select some frames and surround it with an if statement by just typing my I command while I have a selection. This way many syntax errors are avoided. Here I have an example where I just inserted and deleted an if statement. I can also do the same with a mouse. I can right click a frame and I get a context menu and I can delete the frame. In fact, if it's an if statement, I have two delete functions. I can delete the if statement while leaving the body intact or I can delete it, delete it including the deletion of the body. The whole editor can be um, operated purely with the keyboard. The mouse does not have to be used. Every operation that is possible is possible also as a keyboard operation. That was the quick overview of Stride, um, our new editor and language in the Greenfield environment. We will also soon be integrating the same editor into the Blue Day environment as well. Um, you should have a quick overview, a brief overview now what it is. The following videos that we will be releasing soon will tell you a bit more about the details. Um, there is a lot more that is interesting to know about Stride, so if you are still interested, keep watching and thank you for watching today. Bye-bye.